Welcome to the Nobel Prize Passive House. From earlier videos, you didn't see this blue wrapping on the exterior of our building. We're going to talk today about that wrapping and how it's actually a good thing to have on your building and why we install it. Why don't you come over to the other side of the house and we'll show you some examples of what we're talking about. Okay, we're at the front entry of the house and you can see that the blue wrap, we have one layer going on so far. And what's nice about this material is once it's bonded to the plywood and we hit it with the squeegee, it's a special little tool that actually breaks open the chemicals. And when the chemicals are opened up and activated, it actually bonds to the surfaces that it's being attached to. And within several days, it's basically, you can't take it apart. But one of the good things about this wrap is, remember in previous videos, we talked about the, the green Stego Home closed vapor barrier that we put underneath our slab, but on top of our insulation. If you haven't watched that video, you go back and watch that one to, to explain how we actually apply this. But once this comes up over the top, you can see that we're wrapping over. And we want to lap over as gravity feeds, kind of like if you're shingling a house um, or applying a roof. You always want each piece to overlap each other. So everything is being forced to the outside so it can dry. Let's go to the other side of the house and I'll show you exactly some of the uh, methods that we use to actually apply this blue Proclima house wrap. Okay, so this is part of the master bedroom and this is going to be a nice big sliding glass door opening. But as you can tell, we've got one layer over here, but we don't over here. And what we do before we actually apply this material is we snap some lines. You can see the blue line over here, but on this side, we've actually covered it up. You can barely see it right here. And that gives us a guide to exactly where we need to start this material to where it can overlap properly down below. But then again, when we come over on this side, we have a line to continue this building wrap across. So since now I've showed you this, why don't we go over to where I have one of my installers actually applying this material and we'll see the progress of that. Okay, one of the good things about this material is that you can overlap it, right? We have to overlap it here when this top piece comes over the piece, the first piece that we installed, but you can all, always overlap it vertically too kind of like what we're doing here. So if your technician is good enough, he can actually do it by himself if he cuts manageable pieces so he can actually install it without having a big problem. So you can see how we're overlapping it here. We'll overlap it and he's hitting it with the squeegee. So when you hit it with that squeegee, again, like I told you before, it releases the chemicals and the glues so it can bond to the substrate that's being applied to, whether it's the plastic down here, the green Stego home wrap, the plywood or regular wood, it's, it gets a bonding contact. And within 30 days, you probably can't peel this stuff off at all. And the good thing about it, it's really great material made in Germany. And this is from Proclima. This is a Solotex Adhero 3000 product. One of the best in the world for controlling and managing water. Okay, so we're here on top of the roof. And let's, you, let's take you over to this wall to roof detail. It's pretty important that we get this detail right because this is our airtight layer and watertight layer right here. So our layer came, comes up the wall and it ties up over here on top of the roof. And then our roofing layer comes down and wraps around and then we even did another protection layer here, as you can see, that we put it back down in this corner just to make sure everything was nice and airtight. But as you can see, there's the entrance into the home where our black and yellow lines are at. And then this material comes all the way up, completely airtight at our seams, continues all the way down our starter board. 
we really don't have to worry about the overhang eaves because when we get our roofing material installed, the roofer will actually bring his material out over to the whole top and cover all of our blue at Hero 3000. So that's why you see the perimeter starter boards still all exposed. Another thing we want to pay special detail to are any penetrations coming up through the roof. So we got two roof vents. These are for our plumbing. But you can see how we apply our more of a non-permeable exto seal encores down over this. Make it nice and airtight. Kind of like remember when we were showing you the stego wrap, how we wrap our pipes nice and tight. Remember, this is a penetration into the exterior wall of the home, and we have to make sure everything's protected, not only for watertight and airtight, um, but for when it does rain, we don't want the rain to come down and start flooding inside of our exterior wall.